We have a Fox 2 follow up now on the set of tiny homes coming to St. Louis. They are being built for veterans who are homeless. Yeah, the land was dedicated today for this veterans community project. Fox 2's Patrick Clark shows us in a story that's all new at 9. Like the roster of speakers at the Veterans Community Project VCP Village Land Dedication all had a Missouri mindset on homeless veterans in America. This is one of the best days uh, of the last three and a half years of being the mayor here is to be able to do something like this that is going to be so impactful for our city. And they went in and when you go there today, an area that was between an old nuclear power plant and a club of ill repute, an area that was in many ways forgotten and abandoned by those of us in government for too long, they have transformed. They have increased property values. They have brought energy and interest and dynamism. 50 tiny homes will be built thanks to the Veterans Community Project, a nonprofit founded in Kansas City by a group of combat veterans. A successful community involved in the build in Kansas City led veterans and collaborators on the project to speak on its success firsthand from the western side of the Show Me State. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's the kind of day where you got the mayor of Kansas City in St. Louis to celebrate the expansion uh, to St. Louis. This is something that Kansas City is deeply proud of because it started there, it was fostered and cultivated by that community, and now it's spreading throughout the state and throughout the country. I'm deeply proud to be a part of it, and I think that in the long run, St. Louis will look at all the other cities we'll go to and say, we were one of the first, and be very proud of that. Near the corner of Grand and Aldine in North St. Louis, a five-acre campus includes the 50 tiny homes and a veterans outreach center, just blocks away from the veterans hospital. The homes are around 320 square feet for a family unit, which can sleep up to seven people. In North St. Louis, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.